In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to design a trifold brochure in Adobe Photoshop. So let's start by opening up a new document. Over here, we will change the measurements of the document and keep the width to 11.6 inches and height to 17.5 inches. Do remember to keep the resolution at 300 pixels per inch and color mode to CMYK. Once the document is opened up, we will divide the front and back sides of the brochure using rulers. So let's start by drawing a margin line at 8.3 inches and 9.25 inches horizontally. The upper part is the front side of the brochure, and the lower part is the back side of the brochure. Now draw the margin lines of 0.25 inches on all four sides of the brochure to create a bleed area. Next, we will divide the brochure into three parts to make it a trifold brochure. For that, draw a margin line at 3.8 inches and 7.65 inches, respectively. Now we have all the three portions of the brochure ready. The top left portion will be the front cover of the brochure, the bottom right portion will be the back cover, and the remaining portions are the inner pages. With that done, let's select the rectangle tool and draw a box the same size as of each portion. Draw separate boxes for each side and fill them with different colors. For the front and the back cover, we've used a shade of green. The color code used is A6AF7A. For the rest of the boxes, we have used different colors, from white to purple, etc. Stick with the color combination you've used for the company logo. Now we will start with the front cover first. Over here, the company name and the logo should be included, along with the artwork that complements the nature of the business. So let's create a new layer and select a darker shade of green. The color code over here is 3B4708. Next, pick up the brush tool, and we will select the Cute Flower Brush Pack and apply it on the front cover. You can download the brush pack from myphotoshopbrushes.com. We will use different brushes from this set to create a pattern for our front cover. With that done, use the rectangle tool to draw a small box on the front cover and fill it with the same dark green color. Now use the type tool to enter the name of the flower shop, using Monica for the font, italics for the format, and keeping the size to 48 points. Change the color of the text to white and place it over the box. Lastly, you can place the logo of the company at the bottom, adjusting the size and placement according to the design. With that done, the front cover is ready. Now let's start working on the inner sides. These are the pages where we will add product images, descriptions, along with details about the company. Since we're designing a brochure for a flower shop, we will add flower stock images to the inner pages. This and all the flower images we will be using can be downloaded from stockvault.net. So let's bring the first image, reduce the size, and place it in the middle page like so. In a similar way, we will add more stock images to the rest of the pages, except for the back cover page. Once that's taken care of, we will use the type tool to insert the body text. So first, let's start by making a text box, the size of the middle page. Next, let's set the font size to 11 points, font type to Gil Sans MT, and paste the text in the text box. You can adjust the text formatting according to your requirements as well. For example, over here, we will right align the text and set the leading size to 18 points. In a similar way, you can add text to the rest of the pages as well. With that taken care of, let's create a new layer and use the brush tool to add flower patterns on each side to fill up the negative spaces. Over here, we will use different brushes from the same brush pack we used earlier and apply them towards the edges of each page, keeping the opacity at 43% and using gray color for the fill. The color code used for the brush marks is D5D5D5. In the end, we will design the back cover of the brochure. For that, use the rectangle tool to draw a small box and fill it with the same dark green color that we used for the front cover. Next, pick up the type tool and insert the contact details. For the formatting, we will first center align the text, change the size to 12 points, and bold the text. With that done, let's place the text at the center of the page and add the company logo at the top. With that done, our trifold brochure is ready. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.